Uh, the ping of a baseball bat, one of the most beautiful sounds to a baseball player, it reminds us of past gap shots, line drives, and even home runs. Knowing how to swing a bat is vital. I believe that it's important because it can avoid injury and it teaches hand-eye coordination. Today I'll be showing you the three main points of how to swing a baseball bat. The first being uh, picking the correct bat size with uh, weight and length. The second being uh, the proper grip and hand placement. And then the third, um, finish your finish and then your follow through. Uh, up to bat is the right size bat. Um, the right size bat depends on uh, how tall you are and how much you weigh. Um, this, this is a high school regulated bat and it's a drop three, which means that it is 30 ounces and 33 inches. Uh, generally, if you're above six foot or and more than 190 pounds, then you should have a 34 inch bat with, that's 31 inches or 31 ounces. Um, this is important because if you have a bat that's too light, then it might not be legal in depending on what league you play. And if it's too, too heavy, you could end up hurting yourself. Um, on deck, we have a uh, grip and hand placement. Um, you want your knuckles to be aligned. So it's actually, it's actually these four knuckles right here. And then these four right here, you want to line them up like this. A lot of people think that you want to line, line these four with these four, but it's actually these, you want to have, you want to have loose hands. Um, and then you want, if you're left-handed, you want your right hand on the bottom touching the knob and then your left hand uh, on top. If you're right-handed, then it would be your left hand on bottom and then your right hand on top. <laughs> you actually want to have your hand all the way down the knob because this could eliminate you losing your bat when you swing it. So you want it, you want it like this. Um, uh, in the hole, we have a uh, stance and follow through. So you can either have uh, your hand placement, you can either have it high up here, you can have it medium size, or you can have it low. Uh, my preference is I like to have it low because I like to get under the ball and you know see how far I can hit it. Um, now we have the base. You can either have uh, a wide base like this, you can have a regular base, or you can have a narrow base. Personally, I like having a narrow base. Uh, after that, you can choose whether you want a open stance, a normal stance, or a closed stance. Um, my preference is I like having a, just a regular stance and then next you choose your leg kick. You can either have a really high leg kick, uh, you know, a somewhat high leg kick or no leg kick at all. It really just depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, and the key, the key to hitting the ball is, you know, you just pick what, whatever, whatever's comfortable for you. And so I have my hands lower and then I have my, I just have a regular stance. So when I go like this, you want to shift all of your weight back. And then once you shift it back, you want to bring it all the way forward and basically just throw your hands at the ball until, you know, the ball hits the barrel. Uh, so now we're going to do the recap of, of what we talked about. First, we talked about picking the right, uh, right bat size and why it's important. You don't, want, you don't want a bat that's too light because it could be illegal. And you don't want a bat that's too heavy because you could end up hurting yourself. Uh, next, we talked about your grip and hand placement. You want your uh, hands on the all the way all the way to the bottom because then it could so it doesn't the bat doesn't fly to your hands and you could end up uh, hitting someone. And then finally, we uh, we talked about your stance with uh, where you want your hands and basically ultimately just talking about how comfortable you are as a hitter. Um, I really hope this speech was a hit. Uh, now, next time if someone asks you to play a pickup baseball game, you can say, "Yeah, I know how to hit because Trey showed me how." Thank you.